In this series, I will show you several examples of Thevenin equivalent circuit. This is the first example. Thevenin equivalent circuit. That means we can reduce any linear bilateral network to a single voltage source VTH. That will be in series with a resistance RTH. When VTH will be in series with RTH. That circuit will be known as Thevenin equivalent circuit and these are the steps we will follow to convert any circuit into a Thevenin equivalent circuit. Draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit across RL from the following network. See this is A terminal and this is B terminals. Across this AB terminals we have this load resistor RL connected. Now let me show you the steps of Thevenin is a given circuit and simultaneously I will solve for Thevenin circuit. Remove the load resistor RL from the network across AB terminals. So at first we will remove the load resistor across AB terminals. Let's say I removed the load resistor RL and placed that load resistor across this A and B terminals. This is our load resistor RL. After removing the load resistor RL from the circuit, our circuit will look like this and this A and B terminals will be open circuit. So we are done with step number one. After that, we have to calculate the Thevenin resistance across A and B terminals. While we will calculate Thevenin resistance RTH, if there are any voltage sources in the circuit, we will replace those with short circuits. And if there are any current sources in the circuit, we will replace them with open circuits. We will calculate RTH with respect to A and B terminals. See, we have this voltage source. Therefore, we will replace this voltage source with a short circuit. If I replace this voltage source with a short circuit, our corresponding circuit will look like this. Okay, I have replaced the voltage source with a short circuit. Now, the resistance with respect to this terminal to this terminal will be our Thevenin resistance RTH. If you look at A and B terminals, you will see this 5 ohm and this 15 ohm resistances are connected in parallel. Therefore, RTH will be the equivalent parallel resistance of 5 and 15, which will be equal to 5 multiplied with 15 over 5 plus 15. Our Thevenin resistance of the circuit will be 3.75 ohm. So in the circuit, Thevenin resistance RTH is equal to 3.75 ohm. So we are done with step number two. After that, we have to calculate the Thevenin voltage VTH across A and B terminals. That means we will calculate the voltage between this terminal to this terminal, which is VTH. While calculating VTH, we will consider this terminal at higher potential and this terminal at lower potential. Now see, in a circuit, we can calculate the Thevenin voltage VTH in many ways. You can use mesh, super mesh, nodal, super node, superposition, KVL, KCL, voltage divider rule, current divider rule. In that case, you have to use your intuition and you have to find out which method will be suitable for that specific circuit to calculate the voltage VTH. Now look at this circuit. VTH is the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor. If I use voltage divider rule. VTH will be equal to 5 over 5 plus 
15 into 12 which will be equal to 3 volt so here vth will be equal to 3 volt see as vth is equal to positive therefore the positive terminal of vth will be in upward direction and negative terminal of vth will be in downward direction vth is equal to 3 volt and this will be thevenin equivalent circuit See, we have in step number four, we have to draw the complete Thevenin equivalent circuit. Now, I will show you some additional method to calculate VTH in the same circuit. See, this is our 15 ohm resistor and this is 5 ohm resistor. This will be a complete series circuit. As this circuit will form a loop, I can apply KVL in the circuit. As this is a total series circuit, the current I will be same all over the circuit and current should flow in this direction because this is positive terminal of the source and this is the negative terminal therefore let's say the current i is flowing in this circuit if i apply a shop's voltage law you will see plus 12 minus i into 15 minus i into 5 which will be equal to 0 from which i can calculate I will be equal to 12 over 20 which will be equal to 3 over 5 or 0 0.6 ampere now if you know the current flow through this 5 ohm resistor as current will be entering from this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative because current is leaving in this direction therefore you know the current flow I equal to 0 0.6 ampere if you use Ohm's law, you will get VTH. Here VTH will be equal to I into R or 0 0.6 into 5 which will be equal to 3 volt. Or you can use nodal analysis. This will be the only node in the circuit and this node voltage V1 will be our Thevenin voltage in this circuit now see as all the currents are unknown therefore all the currents will be outgoing so if i apply kcl here i will get v1 minus 12 over 15 plus v1 over 5 which will be equal to 0 from which if I take the LCM I will get V1 minus 12 plus 3V1 which is equal to 0 from which I will get 4V1 equal to 12 or V1 equal to 3 volt or VTH so I have shown you that we can calculate VTH in many ways in a circuit you have to find out which way is suitable for you and you have to apply that method so this is our Thevenin equivalent circuit for the given network that's it thank you